What is going on everybody, it's Gadgets Boy. Sorry this video uh, bring you something slightly different. I don't really do uh, a lot of gaming stuff on this channel. So uh, I did get this one in to show you guys because I was quite uh, intrigued as to uh, what it does and how it works and that kind of stuff. So uh, this is mainly for the PC gamers. So anyone else who doesn't do really do PC gaming, you might not be interested, but do still check it out. Uh, this is from Razorzone.com. So do thanks, uh, thanks to the guys for sending this out uh, to have a look at. So uh, this is called the Razer Arctosa Gaming Keyboard. And it's for gamers by gamers because uh, the guys that make this sort of stuff, uh, if you check their website out, Razorzone.com, all the stuff that they do are made by gamers so they know what it's like to be fully involved in a game, what they need to, to get the most out of their games. Uh, so what's special about this, you've got macro programmable gaming keys, you got selective anti-ghosting for WASD gaming cluster, you got slim keycap structure with hyper response te technology so it's uh, really quick, you can control the response and all that kind of stuff. What's really good about this is you can program the keyboard to suit your gaming lifestyle, so your gaming style, sorry. Uh, so it depends if you're a fast gamer or a slow gamer, you want to remember certain keys, uh, the way you press them, the sequence, all that kind of stuff. You can program it so it remembers all that stuff uh, using the software included. Uh, we look on the back. Uh, apologies, this is not totally brand new box or anything, but it's still worth showing you guys uh, the box, uh, the packaging, so you see what attention to detail they put into this and what information you get to see. So you got features there. You got 1,000 hertz ultra polling, uh, one milliseconds response time. You got 10 customizable software profiles with underfly switching. You got selective anti-ghosting uh, capability around WASD gaming cluster. You got fully programmable keys with macro uh, capabilities. You got detachable wrist rest as well, which I'll show you guys uh, just a little bit more uh, in a second. Let's get straight in the box. We'll see what the keyboard looks like. So here we go. Take the sleeve off. And then open that on the right side as well rather than upside down. So at the top there you've got this uh, Razer logo on that. So if you take that out first, so this will give you your sort of information pack as well as uh, anything to do with the programming side of things. So if you just open this up, here we go. So you got uh, some sort of card there to tell you about playing with everyone else, some marketing stuff. You got some stickers there, Razer logo all over it. And here we've got uh, installation manual, quick start guide, all the contents, everything that you need. And it's also got a CD in there, so do not throw that away like you would normally uh, every other unpacking and that kind of stuff. So that's got the CD you need to install the software for programming uh, the keyboard itself. And then what else we've got here? Just uh, more information, really. So let's have a look at the keyboard itself. So this is a USB cabled uh, keyboard, so it's not wireless or anything. This is the black on black version. If I just put this away for a second. Right, so this is the black on black version. They also do uh, one with silver. I'd advise to get the silver uh, version, and you see the reason why just in a second. I want to take this off. Here we go. It's really, it's a really nice keyboard, um, as you can see there. So you got your sort of wrist rest area there, which is also detachable, so you can take that off if you're not comfortable or you don't like using that. And of course, you got your standard USB cable there, and then you got your blacked out keyboard there. If you look at it, there's no keys or anything. You can't, you can hardly see it. But until you tilt it to different angles, then you can see the keys shining through on the keyboard itself, uh, which is quite cool. But Imagine you're gaming in the dark, uh, someone like myself, I like to game in the dark uh, when I'm on the Xbox, uh, but that's because I want to get full focus on the TV and not get distracted by everything else around me. Um, but you might not be able to do that with this when you're doing uh, any sort of PC gaming, just because you won't be able to see what you're typing, or sorry, what, what keys you're pressing, unless you're really good and you know where your keys are without actually looking at it kind of thing. So, you, you, you sh I'd advise getting a silver one. Uh, because then you'll be able to see the keys better and then you'll be able to use it in daytime uh, Sorry in, in in the dark as well uh, Especially when you shine in the light on it. It will reflect back a little bit more than this It doesn't there's no backlit or anything. It doesn't light up when you plug it into your PC or anything uh, It's really lightweight lightweight as well and it's slim profile easy for transferring around so if you if you're gonna go to your friend's house and game or something like that, you'll be able to take it around with you. It's got the regular features of you'd see on any uh, keyboard, like the stand there, just to keep it raise it up on the top area a little bit. If you don't want it just totally flat, or if you got an unbalanced uh, surface. 
and then you got your regular lighting area there media control right at up there that does light up so you can see what's activated in terms of number lock and caps lock and whatnot so that's all there for you and that's the Razer Actosa uh, do let me know what you guys think it's just an unboxing and first look the full review for these would be on my uh, website uh, gadgetsport.co.uk so do check it out and let me know what you guys think uh, give it a thumbs up as well if you want to see some more gaming stuff and uh, thank you for watching I'll see you all in the next one